going to be uh, focusing our words and our thoughts on mental health awareness. So I invite you to join in this service however you are able, and I ask if you would join me as we sing our opening hymn, We Come to You for Healing Lord.
truth, then God will help us dispel ignorance and misinformation about mental health disorders. We light the candle of healing that troubled minds and hearts, broken lives and relationships might be healed. We light the candle of understanding that the darkness of stigma, labels, exclusion, and marginalization might be dispelled for the sake of those touched by mental illness. We light the candle of hope for persons and families living with mental illness, for better treatment, for steadier recovery, for greater opportunity to work and serve. We light the candle of thankfulness for compassionate, dedicated caregivers and mental health professionals, for new scientific discoveries and better medications. We light the candle of faith to dispel doubt and despair for those who have lost hope and are discouraged. We light the candle of steadfast love to remind us of God's love and faithfulness, and to remind us to share the light of love and service for those living with mental illness. Let us pray. Lord, of the Lord, Open my eyes to see those I would prefer not to see. Open my life to those I would prefer not to know. Open my heart to those I would prefer not to love. In doing so, open my awareness to where I have instruct you. Amen. Holy God, open unto us light for our darkness, courage for our fear, Hope for our despair. Loving God, open unto us wisdom for our confusion, forgiveness for our sins, love for our hate. God of peace, open unto us calm for our turmoil, joy for our sorrow, strength for our weakness. Generous God, open our hearts to receive all your gifts. Amen. Amen. First lesson, a reading of Philippians chapter 4, verses 4 through 9. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again I will say, rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. Do not worry about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, beloved, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing the things that you have learned, and received, and heard, and seen in me. And the God of peace will be with you. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Let us read in unison Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. You make me lie down in green pastures, and lead me beside still waters. You revive my soul, and 
And the clubhouse brings people together, brings them out of isolation from maybe staying in their apartments or their homes by themselves. It helps with job skills. It helps with socialization. People find friends. And they learn skills and share skills that they have. And so it's been a wonderful thing in our time being shuttered as a congregation upstairs. We've been very much alive with Painting Pathways Clubhouse downstairs. And as I've gone around and visited with members of the congregation, uh, it's been really quite interesting how we have found different ways to cope, different people to reach out to, different ways to reach out. And we have uh, found that we are a community, a congregation, who finds great pleasure in doing that, and we're meeting the stranger, and we're finding out that we are not so much like everyone else. We're all strangers, but we're reaching out to one another in love. Some of these transitions have indeed been hard. Uh, we have had some people who are aging, and as the aging process happens, different uh, mental health issues may come to light. The isolation that is caused, people having to learn to work in new and adaptive ways has caused stress and fear and anxiety. But through it all, we are here with one another and for each other. As I was um, also preparing for today, we're in a season of Pentecost, or the season after Pentecost, and the color will typically be green. And actually, I have a two-sided stove here, green on one side, multicolored on the other. And I decided that this was the most appropriate for today. This is a stove made by one of our parishioners, Mary Green. And what Mary did was she took all the salvages, the remnants of the fabric that would normally be thrown away, the thing you cut off so that you could get your pretty garment, and she sewed them together and made them into a stole. Because she knows that here at St. James, and hopefully the way I live my life, is there are no people that are remnants. There are no people who should be thrown away. So if you're feeling kind of lost, if you're feeling lonely, if you need someone to talk to, someone to visit at this time socially distancing, or you just flat out need some help, you can get in contact with me, and I will get you in contact with people who can help. It's not a time that we have to sit in isolation. It's not a time that we have to be alone. In a short while, we will be celebrating the Eucharist. And this has been another hard thing. This has caused some anxiety in people, not being able to physically be present for the Eucharist. And although every Sunday, when we're in person gathering, somebody may not be here for any number of reasons, you can have a spiritual communion. And somebody says, well, that's all well and good, but I really don't know what that means, and I don't know how to do that. And so I would like to offer some words of wisdom from the Order of Julian and March. It's a religious group. We are blessed to have them here in the Diocese of Fond du Lac. There are occasions when one is unable because of some unavoidable issue to participate in Holy Eucharist or to receive Holy Communion. This may be especially true when there is no Eucharist offered locally. One may wish to receive Holy Communion daily when there are no daily Eucharists are available. In all these situations, it's appropriate to make a spiritual communion. And I offer this as we are looking at mental health awareness. God is with us all, everywhere, wherever we go. And so I would like to share some wisdom from the saints of the past. 
Thomas Aquinas once defined spiritual communion as an ardent desire to receive Jesus in the most holy sacraments and loving and embracing him as if we had actually received him. You can sit and be with Jesus wherever you are. Saint Teresa of Avila wrote, When you do not receive communion and you do not attend Mass, you can make a spiritual communion, which is a most beneficial practice. By it, the love of God will be greatly impressed on you. Again, you may sit and be with God in whatever situation you find yourself. St. Catherine of Siena was afraid that a spiritual communion was nothing compared to a sacramental communion. In a vision of our Lord, she saw him hold up two chalices and say, In this golden chalice, I put your sacramental communions. In this silver chalice, I put your sacramental, your spiritual communions. Both chalices are pleasing to me. St. John Vianney wrote, A spiritual communion acts on the soul as blowing does on a cinder-covered fire, which is about to go out. Whenever you feel your love of God growing hope, quickly make a spiritual communion. Can both compose oneself in silence and devout openness to God. If you like, you can pray. God of your goodness, give me yourself, for you are enough to me, and I can ask nothing that is less than can be full honor to you. And if I ask anything that is less, ever shall I be in want, for only in you have I all. So I would ask, if you suffer from any kind of mental health disorder, seek help. And you, you are already seeking that help. May the help be a blessing. If you know of people who are suffering but may not be seeking help, find ways to reach out and help them. If you know somebody but are afraid to call, make a phone call to the church, ask me, and we'll make a connect. And above all, know that you are loved. There are people who will help. Know that there is nothing wrong with you. And know that God loves you. Amen. Please join me now as we say together the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father of the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified with Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, with the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken to the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Prayers of the people. God of love, we celebrate that today you are still speaking a word of acceptance, wholeness, and inclusion of all your differently-abled people, including those living with mental health disorders.
his orders and those who support them. We give thanks for the body of Christ and the ways we seek to live out Christ's commandment to love you and to love our neighbors as ourselves. We give thanks that you are, that you are the source of healing and peace. On this Mental Health Awareness Sunday, we pray for people who live with untreated mental illness and who are unable to find help and cannot afford medical care. Bring, bring healing, healing. Bring, bring, bring peace. We pray for an end to the stigma of mental illness. Bring, bring healing, bring, bring peace. peace. We pray for families torn apart by mental health issues and for families that hold on to one another during difficult times of illness. Bring, bring, bring healing, bring, bring, bring peace. peace. We pray for those who have lost a loved one to suicide. Bring, bring, bring healing, bring, 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 bring peace. peace. We pray for children, teens, and adults learning how to live with newly diagnosed conditions. Bring, bring, bring healing, bring, bring peace. peace. We pray for people burdened by labels and stereotypes. Bring, bring healing, bring, bring peace. peace. We pray for mental health caregivers, for scientific researchers, for professionals who seek to bring compassion, treatment, and healing to those who live with mental health disorders. Bring, bring, bring healing, bring, bring, bring peace. peace. We pray for people who are victims of bullying and discrimination because of their mental illness. Help our society to be more compassionate of differently abled people. Bring, bring, bring healing, bring, bring, bring peace. peace. We lift up all those on our prayer list and others we remember now. Bring, bring healing, healing, bring, bring peace. peace. We give thanks for the many gifts that people with mental health disorders bring into the world and celebrate the creative genius of artists, scientists, authors, scholars, business leaders, actors, musicians, inventors, and presidents who live with mental illness. Still speaking God, as the mysteries of the human brain unfold, we remain in awe of the intricate ways in which we are created in your image. Amen. Amen. We pray to you also for the forgiveness of our sins. Most merciful God, God we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, and word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. May Almighty God have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. The peace of Christ be always with you. And also with you. The table of bread and wine is now to be made ready. It is a table of company with Jesus and all who love him. It is a table of sharing with the poor of the world with whom Jesus identified himself. It is a table of communion with the earth in which Christ became incarnate. So come to this table, you who have much faith and you who would like to have more. You who have been here often and you who have not been for a long time. You who have tried to follow Jesus and you who have faith. Come. Please join me in singing, God whose will is health and wholeness.
gifts and offerings may be mailed to the church or sent through your bank. There are also some online giving options on our website at mysjec, so mysjec.com slash donate. We thank you for your financial support as we, as we have adapted our ministry and our mission together in these past few months. We may also, if you're in the area, drop off your financial offering in our mail slot on our 8th Street entrance. It inspires to always share your love through action, O oh God. Strengthen, Strengthen us to always be an inviting, safe, safe community, community for all. For all. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. God of all power, ruler of the universe, you are worthy of glory and praise. Glory to you forever and ever. At your command, all things came to be. The vast expanse of interstellar space, galaxies, suns, the planets in their courses, and this fragile earth, our island home. By your and will they were created and have their being. being. From the primal elements you brought forth the human race and blessed us with memory, reason, and skill. You made us the rulers of creation, but we turned against you and betrayed your trust, and we turned against one another. Have mercy, Lord, for we are sinners in your sight. Again and again you called us to return. Through prophets and sages you revealed your righteous law, and in the fullness of time you sent your only Son, born of a woman, to fulfill your law, to open for us the way of freedom and peace. By his blood he reconciled us, by his wounds we are healed. And therefore we praise you, joining with the heavenly chorus, with prophets, apostles, and martyrs, and with all those in every generation who have looked to you in hope, to proclaim with them your glory in their unending hymn.
that we may worthily serve the world in his name. Risen Lord, be known to us in the breaking of the bread. Accept these prayers and praises, Father, through Jesus Christ, our great high priest, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit, your church gives honor, glory, and worship from generation to generation.
be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.